it's a tragic situation. I, I express my condolences uh, to the family of the young girl. The 77-year-old who tried to stop this savage attack on Deanne Kenny Stryker is home from the hospital after coming face to face with the killer Saturday inside the library. I suffered a, a wound on my arm, uh, approximately five inches long. It's still not clear what triggered Jeffrey Yao's rage, but neighbors had complained to police about his behavior, and a former Winchester High School student tells the Boston Globe he thought Yao was a threat to student safety after he allegedly made several disturbing posts online. Yao's prominent defense attorney says he's long battled mental illness. There's no indication that he knew the woman. Just a completely random attack. We've just suffered a huge loss from this one person. Friends of the 22-year-old medical student who was studying at the University of New England say she had a promising future and wanted to dedicate her life to helping others. It'll be really sad that she never got to work with children. Um, yeah, she, I'm sorry. Thank she would have been, a, yeah, really amazing doctor. Tonight, the Winchester School District will not talk about any warnings it may have gotten about this suspect in the past. In Winchester, Massachusetts, John Atwater, WMUR News 9.